what is this abused and uh, beat up object I have, you might ask? Well, <laughs> it's a... Uh, it's a, it's a pencil, and it's the Traveler's Company Brass Pencil. And I carry it in my pocket all the time, and I use it every day. I'm a picture framer, I'm an artist, so I often have to use a pencil. I'm, you know, I use it in my, my daily work. And it's starting to show some abuse. As you can see, the, the paint is rubbing off. And, I, and, you know, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to become... Uh, it's supposed to become an object that shows its age in some way and the brass will start coming through as the paint rubs off and you know eventually maybe this will all be down to the brass and it'll be quite beautiful um a friend of mine gave me this for christmas one year a very good friend of mine and uh you know um <laughs> i'm a fountain pen person the channel's about fountain pens but i'm also a pencil person i love pencils so we're talking about a pencil what i really like about this pencil is i carry it in my pocket and it's designed, if you look around here, it has this metal tip. And I'm going to show you the pencil in a minute. But the great thing about this pencil is I put it in my pocket and I don't stab myself in the leg. <laughs> Any other time I have a regular pencil or a mechanical pencil or a technical pencil of some kind, I, I always stab myself in the leg. It doesn't matter how careful I am. I end up getting a jab. But this takes away that little problem. And when you look at it, it's, you know, it has a clip, you could put it in a shirt, uh, has a big eraser on it, and it has a body. Um, I don't wear it on my shirt, I carry it in my pants pocket, and I carry a lot of junk in my pocket. I have a fountain pen in my pocket, I have keys, coins, screws, nails, lots of scrap paper, junk, uh, things I pick up, are in my pocket and this is always there and it's always in use well anyway so you pull this part off and inside the barrel is a pencil and as you can see it's getting smaller <laughs> and you just do that and you have essentially a full-size pencil i think that's a pretty cool thing so you know um as you can see it has a nice sharp point on it you the uh, uh, you know it's just a standard pencil really is just in the holder and uh this one's starting to get a little small uh but still quite useful uh for writing i'll just get a piece of paper to show you it's a i'm writing the quick brown fox with a pencil i'm just gonna stop right there that's just sad anyway um but anyway it's uh one of those nice little tools that's very carefully thought out practical it's attractive even it even when it gets beat up it's become it actually as it gets beat up it'll become more attractive and um it's fairly straightforward in many ways for instance even though the the lead is getting smaller um if you line it up like that you can see that i've used more than half the the pencil now you can replace it with any other pencil um you just take hold of the holder part Take hold of the pencil and slowly twist and it'll pop out. You can also adjust it like that, right? But the problem with that is as you do that, it gets a little, oh, the cat's here to say hi. This cat loves to chew pencils, so, so she's probably here to chew my pencil. Um, so anyway, the easiest way to replace the pencil is to just cut a new one, really. And because the you know how big does it get you uh, that's the holder there so the holder um, lines up like this and then the pencil you just sort of eyeball it the pencil uh how far down does it go it goes quite a ways so probably about there right so i'm just gonna cut myself a new pencil quickly i'm not going to use it i'm going to finish using the other one don't worry i i won't waste it but i'm just going to show you what you do you kind of line it up, eyeball it, take a knife, just sort of score the pencil. You could prob <laughs> I could probably use a saw a lot easier than this, but I'm just going to take a knife, try not to cut my desk because I'd be in big trouble. And try not to cut myself either. I should have thought this out better. 
Anyway, I'm just sort of scoring the pencil. I'm just going to break it. There we go. See, it pops right off. That goes in. <laughs> and as you can see, I actually managed to cut the pencil shorter than the other pencil. But that's, I was just doing this as an example. So, wow, I did great. I forgot to adjust for the fact that it goes all the way up into the, into the holder. But anyway, you get the gist. You just measure it out next this is the first time I've cut a pencil, and yes, I've done it wrong. But what I'll do is, next time I need it, I will carefully measure that. I will give that to somebody. <laughs> this is going bad. Uh, but it just shows you how easy it is to replace a pencil. And I'll measure it out when I need to do it properly, taking all these things into consideration, and put it in there. So yeah, it's a... And it holds, you know, pretty much a standard pencil. Traveler's Company also makes a similar... Oh, actually, they, they make a fountain pen with the same layout. It, I'm, I'm not, I, I don't have one. I have seen them online. Uh, so they have a fountain pen in this, this, this configuration too, which would be kind of cool, actually. You know, just uh, hmm, Maybe someday I'll get that. But anyway... Uh, so here you have it, the Traveler's Brass Pencil. Do you have one? I'd like to know. Do you like it? What do you, what kind of pencil do you usually use? You know, Blackwing, uh, Stadler Mars, some other brand. <laughs> do you have a mechanical pencil? I'd love to hear it in the comments. Anyway, so that's it for today. It was just a fun little look at a, an object that I quite like, I quite enjoy, and I use all the time. And uh, anyway, I hope you have a great day. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. Slowly building up the channel. It's a lot of fun to do. Uh, and uh, thanks a lot. Have a great day. Bye-bye.